Jedi, the Council sees you've arrived on Tatooine. Good. We can't waste any time. Tatooine is a vast desert world where survival is often precarious. Master Eris Vassen, one of the Jedi's best cultural explorers, was there when he dropped out of contact with the Council. What exactly does a cultural explorer do? The Jedi Council relies on people like Master Eris to develop relationships with the varied cultures of the galaxy. He can understand and adapt to even the most strange and violent societies. If this illness has claimed him, it would be a great loss to the Jedi Order and threaten the groups he was sent to study. Any idea where I should begin my search? Eris hired a guide to help him navigate Tatooine's treacherous deep desert and make contact with its residents. One of Master Eris's last reports was that his guide had developed the Sand Rot, an illness caused by prolonged repeated desert exposure. The guide's name is Rowan Delk, and he is currently recuperating at the Dreviat Outpost Medical Center. He's your best lead. Consider it done. Work quickly. Master Eris is vital to the Order. And if he has this plague, well, you more than any of us know what that means. Tyrants, damn tyrants, the lot of you. Treating a grown man like he's a baby. Like he can't take care of himself. Lie down, Delk, and quit roaring. I swear, a Ranko with heartburn would make less noise than you. I'll make as much noise as I want. Hey, Jedi! You a friend of Master Ares? Get Darth Nurse here off my back, will you? Will you give us some time, Nurse? I need to ask Delk about Master Eris. You two can talk, but don't let him fool you into letting him walk, Jedi. He's got the sand rot, and bad. <coughs> Man breathes in a little sand, and after 20 years guiding folks through the desert, he suddenly <coughs> can't make decisions for himself. What's it you wanted to know about Master Eris? It's a bit of a long story. I'm listening. Jedi Plague? Begging your pardon, but uh, I don't believe it. Sure, maybe some masters, but not Master Ares. He's the brightest, most level-headed guy I ever met. We've seen this illness twist even the most level-headed Jedi Master. Look, you want to talk to him? <laughs> You're welcome to it, but I'm telling you, he's just as sane as you or me. When I left him, he was in the desert with them annoying little Jawas. I <laughs> really impressed him how they managed to survive out there. Do you know what Master Ares was doing with the Jawas? Studying them? As <coughs> far as I can tell. Trying to understand their crazy little culture. Now, they're friendly folk, the Jawas. Even if they don't understand the meaning of the words private property, if Master Ares isn't still with them, I'm sure they'll help you find them. I don't want to cause trouble. I just want to find Master Eris. I must know where he went. I think I know this desert walker. If I help you get your parts back, will you help me find the war maker? Give me the message and you'll get your parts. I am quite honored. Hello there, Jedi! Would you look at this? They let me walk around the clinic. <laughs> Soon they might let me cross the street by myself. <laughs> Any luck finding Master Ares? I didn't find him, but the Jawas said he made this for you. 
What's this? <coughs> a m message from Master Ares? Well, I know this encryption. It shouldn't take long to crack. Oh, there, there. Here to see what he has to say? Rowan, you've realized by now that I've left those most resourceful of creatures, the Jabba's, in pursuit of greater things. I came to Tatooine to discover the secret to life. Not its creation, but its ongoing survival. How do some species thrive while others fail? A great darkness is coming, Rowan. And to withstand it, we must know the answer to that question. That phrase is familiar. Has Master Eris spoken of this darkness before? Well, not to me, but there's more here. Maybe he explains it. I believe that the Jawas, whose enduring civilization thrives in spite of Tatooine's harsh conditions, would answer that question. But during my daily meditation beneath the pillars, I saw a vision on the cave wall that showed me the error of my assumptions. I now know the true original people of Tatooine, the warriors whose knowledge I will use to stem the coming darkness. What is he talking about? Who are these people he's gone to? You really want to find this guy, don't you? I don't get it. Sounds perfectly sane to me. Master Ares used to take lights out to a cave near the rock pillars at night and meditate. Sounds like that's when he had his vision. Well, you're a Jedi. Maybe you could do the same thing. Visions don't exactly work that way. But I should have a look at this meditation site. You can use my old dragon flares as lights. Uh, <coughs> the cave gets pretty dark. Just be careful out there. Rumors is sand people are getting riled up. Don't let them catch you with your lightsaber sheathed. Did it work? Did you see Master Eris' vision? What Master Eris saw wasn't mystical at all. It was a carving made by the Sand People. A carving? Now, Master Eris never mentioned a carving on those walls. What did it show? The Sand People conquered everyone on Tatooine. I'm listening. The Sand People are the oldest group on Tatooine? <laughs> Doesn't say much for progress. Still, I bet none of them get the sand rot. <coughs> I have a hard time believing Master Ares would do anything so cockeyed as working with the sand people. At least the Jawas are good for droid repair. He said it himself. He saw the vision on the wall and went to find the ultimate warriors. Wait. <coughs> what did you say the symptoms of this thing were? Delusions? Paranoia? What, violence? One group of sand people has been unusually aggressive lately. Normally, they stick pretty close to their camps. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying I think Master Ares is behind it, but uh, maybe it's worth looking into. So where would I find these sand people? There's a farm and settlement out at Malcolm's Dunes that's been reporting a lot of sand people activity. I'll meet you out there. I know some of those folks, and uh, <laughs> I can help your investigation. I thought you weren't supposed to go out into the desert. Says who? Bunch of doctors never set foot outside an anchorhead in their lives? <coughs> Besides, <coughs> it'll do me good. Don't care if it kills me. <coughs> I'm tired of being an invalid. Listen, Delk, we got broken vaporators, a pile of wounded, and our food stores were almost completely gone. The lunatic said he was a Jedi and a friend of yours. We trusted him. You better have a pretty good explanation for why this Master Ares keeps sending sand people out to attack us. I think Master Ares may be unwell. Another Jedi? Damn it, Delk. Why do you keep leading them here? Listen here. We've already lost too much to that master what's-his-face and his army of sand people. 
So why don't you just leave here quiet-like and don't cause any more trouble? I don't want trouble. Just tell me what's going on. I'm sorry, Jedi, but our trust is a bit worse for the wear at this point. Well, Master Ayers was nice enough when he came through asking to study the Sand People. But ever since we pointed him to their camp, you could set your chrono by their attacks. We got nothing left. I promise you, Master Ares will answer for his crimes. But you must tell me where this camp is. What? And let you help him with his plan to destroy us? I don't think so. Stopping Master Ares may be your only chance of stopping the Sand People. But you need to tell me where he is. You know it's true, Malcolm. Okay, fine. Seems we don't have a choice. I'll draw you a map. But I still don't trust you. I'll warn you, though. Master Ares did something to these sand people. They're stronger. Faster than any we've seen. Hmm. Well, I think I know where that is. I'll get some gear together and meet you out there. Maybe provide backup. <laughs> you have my gratitude. <laughs> Still can't believe the Master Ares I worked with is the same guy who's causing so much trouble. Rowan, Jedi, you're about to witness it. After weeks of work, finally, an end to the darkness. These people, these marvelous, marvelous specimens, have been tested, no, purified, in the crucible of Tatooine's harsh environs. They alone are the hope of the galaxy. Their strength, their society, is the blueprint of our salvation. These are savages, Master Eris, and they're murdering innocent people. No, not savages. Not savages at all. They are simple. But long after the Empire and the Republic are gone, these people will remain. Their culture is built around strength. They cut the weak away like a societal cancer. Don't you see? It's the only way. The Jedi Order has a responsibility to weak and strong alike. How can I make you understand? They are the ultimate warriors, purified by hardship. We must follow their example and cut away everything that would make us weak in the face of our adversaries. The frail, the diseased. <laughs> You're not thinking straight now. <clears throat> Look, I'm sick, Eris. Are you gonna cast me out too? I have no choice. We must fortify the Republic with its strongest members and send this army of light out against the darkness. An army of light that neglects the weak is no longer light. You fools! To oppose me is to reveal your own weakness! You will be cast out! No, wait! Before you strike the killing blow, listen to me! I... I hear Lord Vivica's voice. I've failed him. Just as I failed my old friend Parcanus when he died. Why does everyone mention Parcanus? I don't know, but... I keep thinking about our first mission. Our ill-fated mission to Malachor III. We were all weak. We all came under the thrall of the dark side. We did things we regretted. But Parcanus was our strength. As we tried to escape, I fell behind, and he ran back to save me. He became trapped. We had to leave him. It was my weakness that killed him. Arcanus knew the risk he was taking. Yet I can't shake the feeling that he, his spirit, hates me for it. It is why I have thrown myself into this project. Think about it. The Jedi Order spent so much time protecting the helpless and caring for the sick when we could be fighting the Empire. You must kill me. I was weak on Malachor III, and I'm weak now. But you must take my findings before the Council. Promise me that. Let's see how you feel once Lord Vivicar no longer has a hold on you. What was that? You... He's gone. Somehow you've driven Lord Vivicor away. I... I no longer hear his voice. 
I almost... I almost wish you hadn't done that. Lord Vivacor twisted my mind, and I'm glad to be free of him. Still, my discovery remains. From these sand people, I have learned the key to building the unstoppable army. I feel I must bring these findings to the Republic, yet I can't shake this feeling that some truths are best left buried in the sand. Using this information would mean the sacrifice of every good the Republic stands for. You're right. These records are no more. Thank you for your guidance, and for saving me from Vivica's grasp. Well, Jedi, I'm glad Master Ares is alive and his own self. <coughs> Best get back to Anchorhead myself. Sand rot's acting up and, uh, <coughs> well, frankly, sort of, sort of Miss Darth Nurse's hollering. Thank you for all you've done. Good luck with whatever it is you're doing, Jedi. <coughs> hope, hope you find this Lord Vivicar. Master Ares has reported back to the Council. Good work. He speaks of discoveries on Tatooine. We intend to hear his full report when he returns to Coruscant. Did you discover anything more about the Plague Master, this Lord Vivicar? Master Ares seemed to think Vivicar was why he kept remembering Malachor III and his friend Parcanus. A connection between the events on Malachor III and our current circumstances is clearly forming. The Council will continue its own investigation into the matter. Meanwhile, hurry to Alderaan. So long as Lord Vivicar has control of even one master, he will grow in power. I won't let you down. Good. Do not delay. Every wasted moment works in Lord Vivicar's favor. <laughs>